Hey everybody, my favorite fragrance category, and I'm not talking about the notes and the fragrances, are designer private blends, okay? And I'll explain in a second. So I do like your typical standard designer scents, you know? I think the pros about them are that they're mass appealing, very likable. The cons are that it can be a bit too common because whenever somebody walks into Macy's, Sephora, these are things that a lot of people are exposed to and they see. Now, it's also important to remember, though, that a ton of people don't even wear fragrances in the first place. If they are, they're probably using some Victoria's Secret body mist, Axe body spray, deodorant, things like that. And then when they want to level up to that, then they go into designer fragrances. But yeah, they're still, of course, in the fragrance community, very, very popular, like very saturated and people don't like talking about them as much when they're into fragrances because of how many people know about them. You know, the uniqueness factor isn't there so much, but I still like them. They're very likable. And whenever somebody's new to fragrances, I always recommend something designer or a mass appealing niche fragrance. Now on the niche side, the pros are that they have bold character for the most part, and it's artistic. The cons are, you know, the price can be a bit heavy and there is a huge hit and miss, like a huge, more misses than hits, in my opinion. And yes, that can be the same with the designer side because when you take the traditional feminine kind of fragrances, they, for the most part, smell either really floral, powdery, and then there's, of course, there's the sweet ones, but the DNA that you smell in like Miss Dior, even like Coco Mademoiselle, Chanel number no. five, like it's po like not Poison Girl is, I like Poison Girl, um, but it's just very recycled. And with the masculine side, this huge wave of blue fragrances like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, YEDP, things that use Ambroxan that make the fragrance push out. There's a lot of, you know, like they, there's a lot of recycling and some brands will try to make their version of a popular fragrance like Blue de Chanel and like, you know, Dior would come out with Dior's Vosh, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But on the niche side, yes, it's artistic, but sometimes it's almost too unique to a point where it's not wearable for me, where I'm like, I don't want to smell like this. You know, I think the niche side is more for people that are really fragrance enthusiasts in general. Okay. Because two brands, for example, that I hate, like, I don't like these brands because I just don't like the fragrances, okay? And it's it's a Libre de Orange and Zoologist. When I tried these brands, for example, with Zoologist, there's a scent called Hyrax, and that is my most disliked fragrance of all time. There has been nothing that has touched that in terms of like pure disgust to me because Hyrax smelt like a dead animal carcass. And when I was trying all the other Zoologist things, Sure, like I would do my best to appreciate the fragrance, but then the whole loft ended up smelling like a dirty zoo. And I was just like, why? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? So when I put like, when I look at it from another perspective, I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe people want to have these brands in their collection just because they're collectors. You know, they want to have to showcase all the different things and they have a bigger appreciation for the art instead of wearing the fragrance. So that... I understand. But for me, when I have a fragrance, I want it to be something I can wear for myself, wear it out when I'm meeting people, create experiences when I'm out there in the real world. I don't want it to be a scent that people come into my room and then I have to like show them and I only like spray it in the air. You know what I mean? Like that's just not my vibe as of right now. Okay. If you do that, I think that's great because again, you have a great appreciation for it. But my sweet spot is the designer private blend. This is my favorite shelf in my entire collection. There are only five or six fragrances on here, but it blows everything else out of the water to me, okay? And I do love, you know, the Leightons and things that are the mass appealing niche fragrances, but I don't think I've tried as much of those as I have with designer private blends. Now, if you're wondering why Black Opium Extreme is on this shelf, it's because this was the first fragrance that a designer brand gifted to me. They like, you know, we were emailing like, yeah, Melissa, we're gonna send you something. We wanna gift you something. And that happened a few times with the niche side and I, like every single time I just get a lot. I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool, blah, blah, blah. But there was something about it being a designer brand 
and it, because I know, you know, how popular they are in the mass production that I was like, oh, wow, like it's a designer brand that's recognized me. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm keeping this fragrance. And they gave me a, uh, a cool magic eight ball. I can't really see inside it. You have to shake it really hard. But that's the reason I keep this fragrance on the top shelf, you know, just as like a, a big thank you. But here you can't really see it. This is Tobacco Bunny, and hopefully I can have, like, you know, the full size would be sitting here with its cousins soon. But I really love this fragrance. It's my scent of the day. I went on a walk and it's really cold outside and this thing was just going. It smelled really, really good. But Tuxedo, my favorite fragrance. Ombre Nui, my previous signature scent, but these two, I go back and forth. If you've been subscribed to my channel, you know how much I love these two fragrances. And here we have a couple more Tom Ford's, Oud Wood and Noir de Noir. So for me, designer private blends have the mass appeal. And I'm just generally speaking, okay, I do know that there's some that are disgusting, like Vanilla Diorama. That reminds me of a grandma at church that has a bunch of like candies in her purse. And like, it's like the hard candy, the stuff that nobody wants, you know what I mean? But yeah, that fragrance, huge turn off to me. But generally speaking, these are, are they're mass appealing but unique enough at the same time. Because whenever somebody new comes across my channel and they're like, private blend, what do you mean by that? The only thing that they, they've they seen are the Tom Fords because Tom Ford is, you know, you see them all over Nordstrom and they're like, oh man, they associate Tom Ford with high class because their private blends are really shown off and they see the price tag like, oh my God, Tom Ford means business, blah, blah, blah. But they're not really aware of the Dior's, the YSL's, the Armani's, you know what I mean? But Man, I seriously love wearing these. I love these fragrances so much. Out of everything in my collection, these here have probably pulled the most compliments. Like these five fragrances or just this shelf in general has like going one-on-one -on -one with every single one of these shelves here has just blown everything out of the water. I think the only shelf that can compete with this, I mean, I love this fragrance, but Elysium is the only like for me, superstar, superstar in this lineup here. I think that oh, these are good too, but probably this shelf with Layton and Cedra Pose, it's not, it's a second, but it's not even a close second, I think because Layton pulls so much, but this shelf right here, big, heavy hitter. So if you're somebody that has a similar taste to me and you're like, man, which, like what, new things should I try out? You know what I mean? You're like, okay, I don't want to try um, another standard designer. You're like, okay, I don't want to try something niche because I was burned before. What's something like, what's a good, happy median, you know? Then I would suggest this because these slap, okay? At least the ones that I've tried that you hear me talk about over and over and over again. Love a lot of the Tom Fords that I've tried. I would love to try more of the Dior's. Need to try the Armani's and stuff like that. But anyways, Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support. Have a great day. Bye.